And yesterday, Joe Biden, the U.S. Vice President under Barack Obama, suggested that weaker American policy towards Kyiv is a leading to backsliding on anti-corruption reforms. And while Biden praised the current administration's decision to provide arms to Ukraine, he said that there are no anti-corruption pressure. Biden called Kurt Volker, the current special envoy for Ukraine, a, quote, solid guy, but without authority to prevent backsliding on reform. According to Biden, it's one of Ukraine's biggest challenges. The U.S. has strongly supported Ukraine since 2013, when street protests led to the Revolution of Dignity. The country provided money, training, arms, and pulled together a coalition to sanction Russia. But without movement on anti-corruption, the coalition could fall apart. If, in fact, you do not continue to show progress in terms of corruption, you, we are not going to be able to hold the rest of Europe on these sanctions. And Russia is not going to roll across the, the inner line here and take over the rest of the country with their tanks. What they're going to do is they're going to take your economy down. You're going to be absolutely buried. And you're going to be done. And that's when it all goes to hell.